Hey guys, welcome back to another scrap mechanic video, and today we're floating in the sky. <laughs> no, but um, we've got this awesome little bench, which we showed in the uh, previous episodes, uh, one of the previous episodes. And um, we're gonna create SM paint, scrap mechanic paint this time. And yeah, we're gonna show you how to create this kind of mini game, not really a mini game, but um, yeah, some people suggested on uh, yeah, to make a tutorial on how to make that kind of stuff. So let's start with uh, the, the things we need. So if we want SM Paint, we're gonna have to need a selector grid. So we can uh, have four buttons to select our stuff. And we'll also need a... Um, so you can go up, down, left and right, right? Yes, correct. And we also need uh, sets. No, no sets because it's gonna flip if you do action, um, so flip and a reset, so you can instantly re reset the whole screen because it um, was kind of not uh, that great if it has no reset button and <laughs> Coca Koki knows <laughs> what I'm talking about. Yes. But um, first off, we're gonna have to load up these self-wired XORs. They are really needed in this thing because it uh, compacts the machine a lot download link will be in the description below and we'll also need these kind of selection grids and these selection grids will be made with these uh, self-wired XORs but um you know what we're gonna make it from scratch we're gonna start the whole game from scratch this time so first off we're gonna create one cell of the screen because we can do the slider stuff um, at the end of the video or whatever we'll see so first off we're gonna have um, output and let me take uh, logic gate so the output will be like that but let's make it face the right way so it's facing down okay and let's let's right. paint the output red yeah that's the the screen so the screen will be an or gate as always and next up we'll have a uh, memory cell. So we're gonna have an XOR. Okay, so let's take an XOR and weld it over here and make sure it's facing the right way because it's really important because we're gonna use a special tool which is made by Raid Caverna, uh, which will need the, the, the orientation of the block to be exactly right. Otherwise yeah, you're gonna mess up some stuff. So, next up, we're gonna have to have a uh, flip and a reset. Um, yeah, a flip and a reset. So, this will be the reset. So, you can color it red, like that. And the reset basically is um, we're gonna have the input like over here, I think. Maybe we should paint it in another red so people don't get uh, confused with the output. Uh, sure. So extra red, red, red. <laughs> <laughs> but um, basically a reset is when you have... Um, also, you always need a pulse, detect, uh, pulse shortener. A pulse shortener is a... Um, wait. Pulse shortener is this kind of a combination when you have uh, two gates like that with an NAND gate or a NOR gate and then two an AND, an AND gate um, hooked up by a boat. Now if you do it like that then it's a flip but if you hook this up to, uh, wait a minute, this one, pretty sure it's that one, uh, let's test just to be sure. If because uh, if you hook that up wrong, then you get a reset instead of set. Oh, wait. Yeah. And yeah, this is a set. So if you need a reset, then yeah, you actually need an extra gate. Uh, yeah, but whatever, we can still manage it. So we'll do this and this. I can make this smaller. I think. Let me first test something. Alright, so we have these two hooked to each other. 
So the uh, nor goes to the and, and the and goes to the XOR. The XOR goes to this first and, and which has a button as input, and this and goes to both the red uh, gates. And that way you'll create a pulse that is one tick long, and only when this thing is on, it'll create that pulse. So this is basically the memory of your screen, and this is resetting the memory. And okay. So if it's not on, then it, it won't trigger it because yeah, the, the cell is not on. Now, okay, so we got the reset. And yeah, that will be a side input, which we'll need uh, to crosswire after we made the complete cell. Now we need a flip. A flip is really easy. Just an nor and an and, and this goes into the XOR. And then you need two inputs from the side, like that. And then it'll be easy peasy. So we got a flip. Wait a minute. Why is it? Oh, that's wrong. So we got a flip over here, which flips the state of the memory cell. And we got a reset, which resets it, whatever it is. Now, next up, we need uh, a layer for the, um, the selection. So we got one and layer to see where you are at the moment. And we need an extra layer to confirm our, um, our thing on the screen. So we got that. And also, if we want something to flicker on the screen, so we got the, uh, the, the position flickering, then we also need an extra air, uh, gate. So we got these. So we'll take this one to be the position, the green one. This will be the position of the player. And um, if you don't know how the position stuff no, uh, works, the grid logic gate tutorial will be on the screen right now. Then this will be crosswired to the side with a button um, to confirm to write in the memory. So we'll wire this up to, wait a minute, let's just wire this first. And this will be wired to the flip. So this is the flip module and let's color the flip blue. Or is that, that's a good color, right? So flip. But this you thing already is made the memory cell blue. Right now, <laughs> <laughs> and this one was flickering. So wait, yeah, Didn't this is confirmed. Okay, what? never mind. And we'll use this one as flickering on the screen. So we'll wire this up to the screen, and the screen is an OR gate, right? Okay, and we'll give this a light blue color. So we got the main module over here, and so. This was confirm riding, but if you do confirm riding, uh, then you don't need this one anymore. So these two connections are open, and this one should have been connected to both of these. So if there's a position over here, like uh, the switch, always completely test your things, your one cell, because if it's not working, then you're screwed, because you need to do the whole fucking screen again. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's see, riding is working, and this one should be flickering it without saving anything to the thing. Now, if something is written on the memory, it should it reset. This. The white one, yes. So, yeah, it is flickering. Now, if it's has some value on the screen and it's flickering, then it's gonna be inverted, right? Okay, so this shell cell is completely working. Always completely test, test it if it works, because um, yeah, mistakes do happen and you need to do stuff again, like I did in this video, but I cut it out, so no problem at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's take this one cell, just ignore the, the buttons, uh, Koka will clean it up. Sure, and the trash <laughs> man. <laughs> All right, then you need to weld everything together, and 
get an 8x8 screen or a 16x16 or 32x32 or whatever you want, whatever. And then after connecting and cross wires and other kind of stuff, eventually you'll get a um, working scrap mechanic paint. So first off, we're gonna speed this up and be right back. All right, and then you got an eight by eight screen and it is not flickering. Yes, that's correct. And um, yeah, because <laughs> the previous one, the failed one was flickering, which was not supposed to be. But um, okay, so we got a reset. Then we need to add resets to the side. So we'll do this and be sure to have the rotation in the right way. So the gate is pointing in the right direction. If it's pointing in this direction, then just put a block beneath it and pointing it in the right direction. And then it'll work. Because the tool we are gonna use is very sensitive for the, uh, the orientation of the tool, of the blocks. And um, yeah. All right, next up is the flickering of the screen. So that's the white layer over here. It's actually light blue so oh, people don't get yeah. confused because the white layer is the memory cells okay yeah true so light blue and then we have the dark blue which was the writing in the memory cells where the position of the player was so over here and can you paint them in the corresponding colors Oh wait, no. No, 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 need to do some magic uh, stuff in a minute. Just paint them black or something. I don't know. We'll see. Black is already the screen. <clears throat> okay, never mind then. Um, all right, so next we got the position of the player, which will be on the side, but um, yeah, never mind. We'll just add that as well. And then position of the player on the sides and also on the top so can I please have a lift oh sorry yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay oh maybe up okay so <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> let's not jump over it this time and also you need a position layer on the top as well so let's see, that's the wrong direction. Um, and that's the right direction. It needs to point the right direction, otherwise it will mess up real bad. So, what color is that? That is, okay, that kind of color. We'll add the selection grid on top of this in a minute, but first we're gonna save this as something special. So we're gonna save this as SM Paint or something, I don't know. SM Paint and save. Oh, I already have that. Um, SM Paint. 